What's up everybody? We'll be doing a stretching class today just to uh, release the body of some stress. I don't know if we would call this yoga, but we're just going to stretch. Alright, let's get the body a little warm. We'll start with an upright plank. So palms under shoulders, core pushed in tight here. You don't want to sag, you don't want to come up like this. Just right here, try to keep it parallel to the ground and tuck that core in. Flex it. Keep it flexed. Oh, I forgot my timer. It's all good. We will guess it on how our body feels. there. We're going to drop our legs and come into a child's pose. Stretch out our shoulders real quick. Go to one side, go to the other. From here, push into a cobra. Chin nice and high. Stretch out your core here. Good. Push into downward dog. Walk out your calves. Take your time here, don't force it. Good. Back into upright plank. Chest, or right, shoulders over palms. Core tight here. <sighs> Control your breathing here. Deep breaths in, slow exhales. Come into child's pose. Stretch out the shoulders here. Coming into Cobra. Stretch out that core nice and high. Hello, Preston. We are stretching today. Stretchy yoga. Pushing into downward dog. Walking out again. Walk all your calves here. From there, coming back up to upright plank. <clears throat> Shoulders over palms, core nice and tight. Hold nice and strong here. Push into child's pose. Stretch out the shoulders here. Coming into a cobra again. Into downward dog, walk it out again. All right, coming to a seated position, we're gonna roll out our shoulders here, roll one out at it, one at a time if you like, or one then the other then both. forward, rolling out one shoulder at a time as well if you want. You can go 
slowly. All right, we're gonna twist our head to the left, getting a stretch in our neck here. You can slightly pull it a little more to get a deeper stretch, but don't force it. Be gentle here. Kid, move your neck a little back and forth because there's quite a few muscles in that neck area over there. <clears throat> Good, now rolling towards the front, going to the other side. Good, now rolling in circles, but don't go all the way back. Back the other way. All right, let's stretch out our shoulders here. Holding here, pulling a little tighter above the elbow to get a deeper stretch in that shoulder. switch okay let's roll out our wrists here a lot of us work on computers or play on our phones a lot so it's good to get everything nice and loose. All right, let's pull down our wrists. <clears throat> and then pull away. Let's switch arms. Pulling back. Good. Let's stretch out our hamstring here. Ooh, the first few ones are probably gonna feel tighter. So don't force it. Ease into it slowly and we'll come back later and do some more. So don't push yourself too hard right now. Switch legs. The best comparison I can make is Warm-ups are pretty important when you guys, before you guys do stretches because imagine putting an elastic band in the fridge or the freezer and then taking it out and stretching it, it'll most likely snap. Similar concept, our muscles are kind of like elastic bands. Come into a butterfly. You don't want to force it too far. You want to warm up and ease into it. <clears throat> Good. Let's come into a quad stretch now. I'm not going to go all the way yet. I'm going to wait for my body to get a little more warm because I'm getting old. Things don't snap back the way it used to. But you got to know your body and know your limits. Switch legs. Good, let's come back to the hamstring stretch. You will notice you're able to go a little further than the first time. <clears throat> Switch.
come into a butterfly. Coming into a quad stretch here. I'm gonna come down a little lower, get a deeper stretch. Coming up slowly, let that leg back slowly. Switch legs. Good. Coming back up. Let's attempt to do both your hamstrings here. Ooh. Toes pointed towards you, knees flat or legs straight. You could pull your ankles and pull yourself slightly closer. Oh, that's pretty tough. All right, good. Relax here. Roll out your ankles. Let's go left over right. Roll out your ankles going forward. Backwards. I should say clockwise and counterclockwise, but if you do one and then the other, you're good. Ooh. All right, pulling your uh, foot towards you. Pulling it slightly on an angle, but don't force it. Be gentle. Go to your limits. Other way, not much of a stretch there. Take your thumbs and massage out your calves here. Just press your thumbs on the calf muscles here as your as your foot kind of moves a little. Giving yourself a leg massage here. Good, let's switch legs. Let's go clockwise. That looks like clockwise. <clears throat> now going the other way. <clears throat> Are you pulling your cap, your foot towards you? <clears throat> A little bit to the side, Just gently, a little towards you. All right, massaging up your calf here, or rolling it up. Just press your thumbs down, kind of like you're playing video games. Thumb, 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 thumb. Good. All right. Let's come to figure fours. I'm doing my left leg here. Uh, toes toward point, toes pointed towards knee. Lean forward slightly. Get a deeper stretch. Drop that leg, hug that knee, pull that knee towards you, slightly on an angle to get a stretch in your butt as well. Good. Let's go opposite leg, opposite arm twist. 
my lower back feels tender, so I might have to foam roll or lacrosse ball out later. But I don't know where my... Good. Switch legs. We'll go right leg now. Right over left. Toes pointed toward knee. Toes pointed towards knee. Stretching also helps when you do it in groups or when you have music on. I got my music in my head, or not my head, my earphones, my AirPods, but it's probably not the right choice of music right now. It's not relaxing me. All right, drop those legs, hug that knee. I'm gonna change my music. This is not relaxing at all. <clears throat> All right, opposite arm, opposite leg twist. Good. Let's come back into a butterfly again. Stretch up those groins. Whew. All right. Let's come into a tabletop here. Do a couple of cats and cows. Cats and cows. Exhale down, head up. <sighs> Inhale, up. Exhale down. <sighs> Inhale up. <sighs> Exhale down. Now we're going to slightly tilt our head and butt towards the left to create a C shape with our spine. Feeling off the stretch here. Good, back to center. Up and down, cats and cows again. Tilting your head towards the right and your butt towards the right to create a C shape with your spine. Good. Come back to center. We're going to come into child's pose, push into cobra. Chin nice and high. Feeling the stretch in your core here. Good. And down. Alright, let me readjust myself from here. Exhale up. Exhale down. Exhale up. Exhale down, exhale up, exhale down, palms off the ground, exhale, palms down, push up, exhale down, same thing, palms down and up. Let's time here. Good. 
Good, hold here. We're gonna come up slowly, three deep breaths to get to the top, to an upright plank on your own count. Good. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna hold nice and tight, nice and strong. If you need more support, widen your base with your feet. From here, push to downward dog. Walk out the calves here. From here, we're gonna take our left leg, hook it up, our three-legged dog up here. We're kicking the wall, so I'm gonna shift up a little. From here, hook it around. Back to center. From there, swing your leg in between both arms. Coming to a, there's probably a name for this, but I'm just gonna call it the side butt stretch. We make our own names out here. Should be focusing on your knee, applying, <coughs> applying some weight to get a stretch. You could walk your arms out if you like. Good. From here, we're going to come up, feel the stretch as your weight shifts. Now we're going to come up, put our leg back gently to downward dog, walking it out. Now we're going to take our right leg, swing it up, three-legged dog. Hook it around. Bring right to center. Swing that leg in between both arms. Feel that stretch coming on your elbows if you like. Walking out your arms if you like. I don't know why this foam roller is here. My foot's a little itchy. Got mosquito bites. Ooh. Good. From there, coming up on your hands. Feel the stretch in your side glute there as you shift weight. Good. Coming up, bring that leg back, walking out, downward dog. Alright, from there, we're gonna push down into child's pose. Stretching out our shoulders here. You can let gravity do the work for you. We're gonna take our left arm and weave it under as we allow gravity to just stretch out our shoulder for us here. Good. Coming back to center, stretching it out again. Child's pose. And then we're going to take our right arm and weave it under. Good. Coming back to center. We're going to push up into a cobra. 
Nice and high, breathe. Exhale. Deep breath here. Exhale down. Palms off the ground. Exhale up. Exhale down. Exhale up. Exhale down. Exhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Exhale up. Exhale down. From here, we're going to come up slowly with three deep breaths. On your own count. Stretch up, child's pose. Push into downward dog. We're gonna take our left leg, hook it up or swing it up for a three-legged dog. Hook it around. Come back to three-legged dog. And we're gonna swing that leg in between both arms, windmill up to warrior two. From here, hold nice and strong, digging in with the both heels, gazing forward. From here, we're gonna pivot our back foot, raise both arms nice and high, reaching slightly behind you. Maintain balance. Good. And windmill back to warrior two. From here, we're going to place our left arm, left elbow on left knee, reaching up, gazing up. Good. From there, we're gonna reach in front of us as well. Deep breath in, exhale slowly. <clears throat> From there, we're gonna windmill back up to warrior two. And push up into a triangle. We're slowly gonna reach behind us, reaching back and or up with your left arm, gazing up. Good. Coming back up, we're gonna to reach towards our front leg for a front triangle. Try to keep that leg straight. From there, we're gonna place both hands on the ground and drop our back knee and come up, hands on hips, pushing our hips forward, getting a stretch in our hip flexors here. From here, we're gonna take our arms and twist to the left a little slightly have your arms open like this. I don't know if it looks cool because my face is away from the camera or you can have your hands together and twist back. <sighs> Slowly going back to the left again. Back to the right. All right, quick pause here. I'm gonna grab a cushion for my knees because they hurting. You guys could do so too. All right. From here, we're gonna right palm on the ground, left hand nice and high, gazing up, twisting, opening up. Good. 
good. Back to center. Coming back up, hands on hips. Pushing our hips forward, stretching out our hips again. Good, from there, hands on ground. Kick that leg back. We're gonna come in an upright plank. And we're gonna come, we're gonna come down slowly with three deep breaths and three exhales on your own pace. Let's go. Good, from there, palms off the ground. Deep breath, exhale up. Cobra. Exhale down, palms off the ground. Exhale up. Exhale down. Exhale up. Chin nice and high, getting a stretch in that core. Exhale down. One more time. Exhale up. Exhale down. We're gonna come up slowly with three deep breaths on your own count. Holding in an upright plank here. Core nice and tight. Widen the base if you need support or help balancing. Right from there, we're gonna push into downward dog. Walk up the calves. We're gonna take our right leg, swing it nice and high, three-legged dog. Hook it around. Back to center, three-legged dog. From there, we're gonna swing our leg in between both arms, windmill up to warrior two, gazing forward. Holding nice and strong here. From here, we're gonna pivot our back foot. Arms come nice and high, reach slightly behind you. Feel that light bulb in your eyeballs. It's heating me up right now. Good, windmill back to warrior two. Feeling strength in those heels. Balancing nice and strong. We're gonna go right elbow, right knee. Reaching up nice and high, gazing up. Good. Deep breaths here, slow exhales. There, reaching in front of you. From there, windmill up to warrior two. Pushing up into a triangle, slightly reaching behind you to a reverse triangle. Arm above or slightly behind. Good, coming back to triangle. Reaching forward now for a front triangle. Getting a stretch in our hamstring here. From there, we're gonna drop our hands and drop our back knee. And hands on hips, push hips forward. <clears throat> Good. From there, you can also twist, open, open up your arms, come back, twist to the left, open up as well. Make sure you guys are twisting slowly. Find that balance. Back 
the other way. <clears throat> Back to center here, hands on hips, push hips forward. From here we're gonna go left palm on the ground, right hand nice and high, twisting your body, gazing up. Good, coming back up, hands on hip, push hips forward for hip flexor, <coughs> hip flexor stretches. Good, hands down, feet back, upright plank. We're gonna, go, we're gonna come down slowly with three exhales. Keep your butt parallel or up, don't sink it. Good. All right, give yourself some space. We're gonna do some twisty body stretches. Uh, no, I don't have names for them. But, all right, so you can, we're gonna have our arms straight out here. So for you to see, my arm will be out here. And then, I'm gonna take, so my left arm is straight. I'm gonna take my right leg and swing it back and it touches the wall. I'll probably need a little more space. So right now we're getting a back stretch and a chest stretch right now. Good, back to center. Same arm, we're gonna make a 90 degrees like this. I don't know if my family can see me, but that's similar to the wall stretch when we're doing our pec stretch and take that right leg and swing it back for a pectoral stretch here. Good, back to center. We're gonna do our right arm now. So right arm nice and straight up here. Don't go all the way up here. You want to be nice and lined up with your shoulder, making like a like an L with your body. We're gonna take, we're gonna open up now and take our left leg and swing it back. It is touching something. I don't know what it's touching. Ooh, that's my barbell. Your other arm is kind of supporting you to give you more of a stretch. Good, back to center. Same arm. So we're gonna do 90 degrees here. I don't know what letter of the alphabet this is. Maybe an H, lowercase h. All right, now swing it, get that leg across. My arm pushing me off the ground slightly to get more of a stretch here. Good, back to center. Whew. Good stuff. All right. Just for funsies, we're gonna do three exhales to come to the top into an upright plank on your own count. Let's go. I'm using each exhale to push me a little higher. Hold at the top here. Coming down with three exhales. Good. Coming on our back now. So we're gonna take our right knee, pull it towards our chest. Feeling a stretch in your should be your gluteus minimus. You can hug that chest knee a little more. Get a deeper stretch here. All right, we're gonna drop that knee across the body, holding 
my right knee with my left arm and my right arm is going to open up and I'm going to twist and I'm going to gaze towards the right as well. If you're gazing towards the right, it'll help you get more of a stretch here. Good. Coming back to center here. We're going to put right ankle on top of left knee. And lift. And wrap your hands around your left thigh here. And pull that thigh towards you. As you get a stretch in your right gluteus medials. Your side butt. Good. Dropping those legs now. We're going to be doing our left knee now, pulling it towards you. Hugging that knee a little closer. I just heard my dad yawn really loudly. I don't know if you guys heard it. He's right above us. Assuming he's doing these stretches too. Right, father? All right, we're gonna drop that knee now, holding it with my right hand, if you can see. And my left arm will be open up this way. And I'll be gazing left, holding down my, arm, uh, my knee, and twisting my body to get a butt and a back stretch here. Good, coming back to center. We'll put our left ankle on top of our right knee. Coming up, we're gonna hold that right thigh or wrap our hands, intertwine our fingers, and pull that thigh towards you. Foot pointed, toe pointed towards knees. Good. Dropping those legs, heels on the ground here. We're gonna come up in the glute bridge, holding nice and strong here. Hands up if you like, or on your stomach, or on the ground. I prefer stomach, because it adds a little more weight. Two versions here, you could push on your heels, Get a hamstring um, activation here, or have your feet on the ground, and you're kind of pushing away from your body to activate those glutes as much as possible. I don't know if you can feel the difference if you switch. Yeah, when my am I focusing on my heels, my hamstrings become tighter. If I'm pushing with my feet and my toes, it's more butt. All right, from here, we're going to do 10 reps. <sighs> Exhale up. Inhale down. <sighs> you could follow me or go at your own pace. <sighs> if you follow me, you'll probably do extra because I always lose count. Let's do two more. Good, coming down. We're gonna have our right leg out now. You can raise it up. 
From here, we're going to push with our left heel. We'll do 10 on your own count or mine. And go. Let's do two more here. Good. Coming down, switching legs. Left leg off the ground here. 10 on your own count. And go. Let's do two more here. And down. Whew. Let's sit. Let's go feet together. Butterfly on our back. Relaxing here. Hugging both knees here. We can hug both at the same time. We'll pull them with one light arm. Get a groin stretch here as well. All right, let's do some more butt stretches. Let's pull our right knee towards us. Should be able to pull it slightly closer to you, even more than before. Getting everything nice and loose and warm. Now dropping that knee, holding it with our left hand, gazing to the right, twisting to the right here. Good, back to center, right, right ankle over left knee, hugging that, or intertwining your fingers in between the left thigh, and pulling that thigh towards you. Good, dropping those legs. Let's go left knee, hug the knee towards you. All right, good. Left knee lowers, holding it down with your right hand, twisting towards the left, gazing left as well. Good, back to center. Let's go left over right knee. Intertwining that right thigh and pulling it towards you. Good. 
Good, drop below the knees. Let's get those legs on the ground. Hands all the way back, or hands reaching as far as possible. Feel like you're getting stretched from your toes, from your feet. <sighs> Let out a nice yawn too. All right, laying on your back, palms facing up. Taking deep breaths in. Exhale slowly. Remember that we're all blessed. We have our health, we have our family, we have our friends. Times like this, we realize what's important to us. When you guys are ready, come on up. Thank you guys for joining our stretchy class slash yoga. I'll improvise very random and we'll see you guys tomorrow for full body high intensity interval training. Thank you for joining. See you guys later.